welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. It's Poetry with me, Miss Naomi. That rhymes, how cool is that? <laughs> so as you know, we're gonna do lots and lots of different things. We are going to play Venga Venga. We're gonna do our tongue twister challenge. You're gonna have a poem that I am going to share with you, but also a poem I am going to perform with you too. All right, shall we get on with it? Let's see what we've got happening today. Mm. <laughs> one person that is just being a bit negative you might have an idea or a story you're trying to do and they're just being a little bit negative not helpful this tongue twister is all about them a pessimistic pest exists amidst us did you catch it a pessimistic pest exists amidst us so that is quite a difficult tongue twister which is why i'm going quite slow have a listen one more time a pessimistic pest exists amidst us should we try it three times nice and slow and a pessimistic pest exists amidst us a pessimistic pest exists amidst us a pessimistic pest exists amidst us Hmm, difficult one, but I think we can get it better. See you soon. The poem I'm going to read to you is a little bit cheeky. <laughs> it's a little bit naughty. Um, somebody's asking to have a pet. And <laughs> the way they go <laughs> about asking for a pet is really clever. So have a listen to this poem. How to ask for a hamster by Valerie Bloom. Mum, can I keep a snake in my room? What did you say? Are you mad? Well, Jamie keeps a snake in his room. He got it from his dad. Will you buy me a mongoose, Mum? I've played with one. It belongs to Maria. It's really docile. Can I please, Mum? I don't think that's a good idea. Can I have a pony then? I could afford to pay for hay. Do you know how much a pony costs? Jaffet got one for his birthday. How about a crocodile? They sell them in Didcot. I think that's where Chloe bought hers. Can I have one? Certainly not. I'll settle for a tarantula then. It would be in a cage, of course. Joshua has a tarantula. Oh no! I can't think of anything worse. What about a little monkey? <laughs> Tina has a chimpanzee. Everyone in class has a pet. Everybody except me. You can have a cat or a hamster. You cannot have a snake or mouse. No crocs, monkey or creepy crawlies. I won't have a zoo in this house. Okay, I'll settle for a hamster. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Oh! There's the doorbell. Must be Jamie. We promised to go and play at Joe's. Jamie, you were right. I tried it. Just like you said, it worked a treat. I'm getting the hamster. Now tell me, how do I ask for a parakeet? <laughs> do you know what? I never had any pets when I was little, but maybe if I had tried that little trick, I would have got a pet animal. Ooh, but which one? the tarantula, the parakeet. <gasps> Have a listen one more time. How to ask for a hamster <laughs> by Valerie Bloom. Mum, can I keep a snake in my room? What did you say? Are you mad? Well, Jamie keeps a snake in his room. He got it from his dad. Will you buy me a mongoose, Mum? I've played with one. It belongs to Maria. It's really docile. Can I please, Mum? I don't think that's a good idea. Can I have a pony then? I could afford to pay for hay. Do you know how much a pony costs? Jaffet got one for his birthday. How about a crocodile then? <laughs> they sell them in Didcot. I think that's where Chloe bought hers. Can I have one? Certainly not. I'll settle for a tarantula then. It will be in a cage, of course. Joshua has a tarantula. Oh no, I can't think of anything worse. 
What about a little monkey? Tina has a chimpanzee. Everyone in class has a pet. Everybody except me. You cannot have a cat or hamster. You cannot have a snake or a mouse. No crocs, monkeys or creepy crawlies. I won't have a zoo in this house. Okay, I'll settle for a hamster. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Oh, there's the doorbell. Must be Jamie. We promised to go and play at Joe's. Jamie, you were right. I tried it. Just like you said, it worked a treat. I'm getting the hamster now. Tell me, how do I ask for a parakeet? <laughs> Do you know what I realised with Venga Venga? I've been doing all the actions, but there's a pair that I missed. All these times we've been doing it like this, there's a pair that I've missed. Do you know what they are? But well, there might be a couple, but there's one I know I've definitely missed. It's as small as a mouse, as big as an elephant. Yes! I forgot to do it, so just to remind you, when I do as small as a mouse, like this, you do as big as an elephant. Remember, don't give me elephant ears, don't give me a trunk. It's just an action that stutters. Remember it as it goes, yes? Yeah? So, as small as a mouse, as big as an elephant. And the stutter happens on elephant, if that helps. Ready? <laughs> and venga venga, you know I always start that way, don't get caught out. And venga venga, venga venga. What's the time? What's the time? The dragon is coming. The dragon is coming. The dragon is coming. Hudge gold, hudge gold. Ha, switched it. Hudge gold, hudge gold. Oh no. Oh no. Hudge gold, hudge gold. You bet you are. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> Pumpkin. The dragon is coming. Uno dos. Uno dos. Uno dos. Superhero. Superhero. It's coming. As small as a mouse. Did you do it? As small as a mouse, I'm gonna switch it. As big as an elephant. As big as an elephant. You bet you are. I'm looking for the man who's got my paw. I'm looking for the man who's got my paw. As big as an elephant. The dragon is coming. The dragon is coming. Pineapple, pineapple. Hula hula, hula hula. Uno, uno, here we go, boom. Boom! Remember to do ah! Boom! Boom! Ah! <laughs> ah! I'm looking for the man who's got my... But darling, I love you! But darling, I love you! As big as an elephant! As big as an elephant! Hedge gold, hedge gold! Save the world! Ha <laughs> ha! Save the world! You bet you are! Save the world! You are superheroes! Save the world! Uno dos, uno dos. And what do I like to end on? What is it, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? What's the time, Mr. Wolf? No way, it is. You bet you are. Ha <laughs> ha, yes you are, my darlings. Superheroes and stars, that's the way to be. <laughs> a pessimistic pest exists amidst us. A pessimistic, oh! You've just caught me practicing. <laughs> I usually practice without you seeing me practice, but let's try it together. So of course the tongue twister today is a pessimistic pest exists amidst us. It's a really good tongue twister. Have you been practicing? Did you have a go with me in the park? Should we try it? <clears throat> and a pessimistic pest exists amidst us. <laughs> no. A pessimistic pest exists amidst us that's it i did amidst us what's admist what's admist so a pessimistic pest exists amidst us yeah that's it three times <sighs> here we go and a pessimistic pest exists amidst us a pessimistic pest exists amidst us a pessimistic pest exists amidst us do you find your cheeks getting bigger and bigger and bigger? <laughs> because you're doing all of that and pessimistic, your cheeks are really stretching and coming up to meet your eyes. Let's try it again. Make sure you hit all those T sounds as well. A pessimistic pest exists amidst us. 
us is the only one and A that doesn't have a T. Should we try it? Here we, three times, and a pessimistic pest exists amidst us. 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 Yes, I did all my teas as well. Did you? Waverly Turner Carmichael. Did you catch it? Waverly Turner Carmichael is the name of the poet today whose poem we're going to perform together. Yeah. Um, it's called Winter is Coming. I know <laughs> that winter is going, but it's a new poet for me, which means a new poem. And I thought it'd be a great one to share with you. Um, so have a listen to this poem and then we'll chat some more in a moment. Winter is Coming by Waverley Turner Carmichael. The winter days are drawing nigh, and by the fire I set and sigh. The north wind is blowing cold, like it done in days of old. The yellow leaves are falling fast, for summer days is been and pass. The air is blowing mighty cold, like it done in days of old the frost is falling on the grass and seem to say this is your last the air is blowing mighty cold like it done in days of old mm. it's a three verse poem and did you notice as you were listening how the words sounded yeah so there was Basically, Waverley Turner Carmichael was alive in the early, late 1800s and the early 1900s. Got to make sure I get that right. So the late 1800s and the early 1900s. I did a little bit of research on him. And so he was writing at a time in America when phrasing, speaking words was said a little bit differently. Like olden times, yeah? So... For example, he says, the winter days are drawing nigh, which means that winter is coming near. Nigh is another word for near. So I thought it would be a really nice poem for us to perform together because it's got a different way of speaking. There are new words and winter is going so we can remember of what it was like when winter was coming. Yeah. Have a listen one more time before we start doing actions. And this time I want you to try and identify in your minds words which are new to you or saying them is slightly different to how you would say them. All right, my darlings, have a listen. Winter is Coming by Waverley Turner Carmichael. Such a great name. The winter days are drawing nigh and by the fire I set and sigh. The north wind is blowing cold, like it done in days of old. The yellow leaves are falling fast, for summer days is been and pass. The air is blowing mighty cold, like it done in days of old. The frost is falling on the grass, and seem to say this is your last. The air is blowing mighty cold, like it done in days of old. Three verses. It does rhyme. There is some repetition, so some of the words are repeated. You might have noticed that. And it's just talking about how nature changes when winter is coming and how we respond, how we react and change when we know winter is coming. What is it time for? It's time for actions. A little bit of performance, my darlings. So, Winter is Coming by Waverly Turner Kymark. Sorry, by Waverly Turner Carmichael. Make sure I say that clearly, it's his name. You know, we've got to be clear with the name of the poem and the name of the poet. Let's start with the first verse. So it says, The winter days are drawing nigh, and by the fire I set and sigh. So the winter days are coming nearer, and by the fire I sit and sigh. Can you do a sigh for me? So let's try the first two lines like this. The winter days are drawing nigh. You can take that nice and slow and gentle. And by the fire, I set and sigh. So this is gonna be like my fire flames. 
Yeah, I'm going to do it with two hands actually. So we've got the winter days are drawing nigh. Yeah. And by the fire, flip them round for flames. I set and sigh. And you just bring your hands down, yeah, for the sigh. So sets is means I sit and sigh. So by, you know, you're sitting by the fire thinking, oh, winter's coming. Oh, it's coming closer. All right, let's try those two lines again with actions. Here we go. And the winter days are drawing nigh. And by the fire, I set and sigh. Let's move on to the next two lines. Oh, the north wind is blowing cold, like it done in days of old. So the north wind is the coldest because it's coming from the north. So can we try? Yeah, let's try this. The north wind is blowing cold. So you come from the north, so come from up high, and it's going down south. So, but bring an action with it, a sound with it, sorry. The north wind is blowing cold. Let's try that again. The north wind, up we go, is blowing cold. Like it done in days of old. So days of old means, you know, days back in time, in history, ancient times, back in the days, yeah? Oh, let's do that. <laughs> that seems really cool. So the north wind is blowing cold. Like it done in days of old. Let's try that one more time. So remember, it's going backwards, not forward. Backwards. Let's try it. The north wind, hand up, is blowing cold. Like it done in days of old. First verse is done. Let's move on to the second. The yellow leaves are falling fast. So yellow, yellow, exactly. The yellow leaves are falling fast. So can you show me a leaf falling? You know when the wind catches it and it twirls and spins down. So we've got... The yellow leaves are falling fast. And make that spin last for the whole line. For summer days is bin and pass. So let's do sun. Yeah, so do sun and raise, yeah? So, the yellow leaves are falling fast. For summer days is bin and pass. Is bin, so they've come and they've gone. Let's try those two lines together, leaf and. The yellow leaves, sorry, the yellow. The yellow leaves is falling fast. For summer days is bin and pass. Fantastic. Next two lines. Ah, the air is blowing mighty cold, like it done in days of old. So I thought muscles, yeah? So we've got the air is blowing mighty cold cold so you've got mighty for muscles then cold wrap up then we have like it done in days of old so let's have that action again of going backwards yeah so we've got the air is blowing mighty cold like it done in days of old and going backwards in time let's try that again together the air is blowing mighty cold like it done in days of old and just show time going back yeah final verse the frost is falling on the grass so we have this for leaves let's do frost as in snowflakes yeah so they're kind of tiptoeing down so the frost is falling on the grass yeah and seem to say this is your last <gasps> You know the frost is falling. Can we do a frost voice? Mm. So we've got the frost is falling on the grass and seem to say, this is your last. So there's quotation marks, speech marks around that. So let's make the frost voice happen. The frost is falling on the grass and seem to say, this is your last. Oh, that's my frost voice. Ha -ha! Can you do a little kind of frosty voice? Like you've kind of got like icicles and snow around your voice. This is your last. And seem to say, this is your last. I like that. Last two lines. Oh, the air is blowing mighty cold. The air, oh, the air is blowing mighty cold. Oh, I can do that better. The air is blowing mighty cold. 
like it done in days of old. Let's just practice that little bit one more time. The air is blowing and the air is blowing mighty cold. Like it done in days of old. And do you know what I'm doing for the days of old? I'm doing a clock. But I'm actually putting it on its side. So you know a clock hands going round? I'm actually putting it on its side and going backwards. Yeah. I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's try and do <laughs> the whole poem with actions. Don't worry about the words, unless you want to. But let's focus really on the actions for this bit. And then we do the words. Name of poem, name of poet, and Winter is Coming by Waverley Turner Carmichael. The winter days are drawing nigh. Remember? Change it into flames. And by the fire, I set and sigh. Big sigh, hands down. <sighs> the north wind, point up, is blowing cold. Like it done, time going backwards, in days of old. Second verse. Leaves, remember they're swirling, twirling, turning down. The yellow leaves are falling fast. For summer days is been and pass. The air is blowing mighty cold. Like it done in days of old. Last verse. The frost is falling on the grass, remember? And seem to say, your frost voice, this is your last. I like it. The air is blowing mighty cold. Like it done, remember time going backwards? In days of old. <laughs> Do you know why I feel really good? Because I remembered all those actions. <laughs> Did you remember them all? Okay, this is the one. Oh, one other thing as well to say. In the last verse, when we say this is your last, really, can you see that I'm saying it to you? So when you say it, say it to me as well, okay? Get all that meaning and that frosty voice. We're going to try it one more time. All right. And this time, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to say the words as well. All right. Let's do all of it. So this is our rehearsal before you show somebody at home. Aha. Here we go, my darlings. Name of poem, name of poet. And Winter is Coming by Waverly Turner Carmichael. The winter days are drawing nigh. And by the fire... I set and sigh. The north wind is blowing cold. Like it done in days of old. The yellow leaves are falling fast. For summer days is been and past. The air is blowing mighty cold. Like it done in days of old. The frost is falling on the grass and seem to say, this is your last. The air is blowing mighty cold. Like it done in days of old. Now, did you spot with some of the words that there are letters missing? So when you perform those words, instead of saying and or the, say what the word actually is spelt like, because then you're saying it how the poet, how the writer intended, what he, Waverly Turner Carmichael, how he wanted us to say it and what he wanted us to mean by that okay so try and try and say it if you can how it's written down ah, it's a bit of a challenge but see if you can get that right okay my darlings so i'll leave the words up at the end it's a really good poem i've got to find out more of his work because if there was a poet who was writing in the early 1800s see i did it 
I did it, didn't I? In the late 1800s, early 1900s. I want to find out more because I like the way that he writes. I think it's really nice and what he does with language. And oh, winter is coming. But it's not really. If you haven't, you know, I'm going to ask you that little favour. Remember to subscribe, yeah? Because as soon as I put those videos up, boop, you, excuse me, you are able to get them, boop, straight away, boop. Um, I hope you're all well. I do miss you terribly. Um, and I look forward to seeing you soon, okay? Um, I'm going to have another go at this poem. See you soon. Remember to practice and show somebody. <clears throat> Winter is coming by Turner, oh, by Waverly Turner Carmichael. The winter days are drawing nigh and by